Woo! All right, okay. Let me try to move this baby back a little bit. Da, 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 that is perfect. Share this baby out. Twitter. Everybody, what's going on? Emma Marathon, my friend. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to give everybody some time to join, and then we will jump right into it and go from there. Folks, how you guys doing, man? It's been, it has been a while. It has been a while, so I'm happy to be back. Um, life is busy, folks. Life is busy. So, yes, 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 yes. I will try to keep getting back. I am great, Phil. Thank you. I am great. What is going on, everybody? I'll let everybody join. I'll give everybody a few more minutes because I'm doing this out of the blue. Because, of course, the Batances news, I know everybody wants to talk about that. So we will definitely take some time to talk about that. DJ Steels, I didn't respond to your last email. I got you, my friend. Life has been busy, man. I'll tell you about it. Life has been very busy. Guys, give it a few more minutes. We'll have everybody join. If you guys do not mind, if you are on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, go ahead and share this video out. If you don't mind, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, just to talk some Yankee baseball right now, then we'll go, well, answer, I'll answer whatever questions you guys want. But first, I'll start with my opening and um, jump right into it. So let's go. Let's jump right into it. Dylan Batances comes back the other night. Looks really good. So I think everybody's looking around at it and saying, man, that is absolutely amazing. Um, and now we find out he has a partial tear in the Achilles tendon, which is not good. Um, I don't think he pitches again. I mean, I don't want to jump to a conclusion, but if you got a tear in that, you're not you're not playing baseball. You're not playing a sport where you're you know you're you're putting pressure on your feet. Um, no matter if that's the push off on the mound or your landing foot. So um, you know, there's no doubt about it, you're gonna be out. Now, folks, here's what I want to do. I want to make sure that everybody understands this before they jump off a mountain. The Yankees haven't had Batances all year. The Yankees have got back, knock on wood, the more important player right now for them. And I'm being optimistic here, so I'm not picking and choosing. Severino look great. That overshadows everything. Luis Severino looking as good as he looked today overshadows everything. Batanz is getting hurt, whatever. It overshadows it. Now, I am not again going to sit here and say, this is not a big loss. It sucks. I don't call it a big loss. Let me tell you why. I don't call it a big loss. They haven't had him all year, and they're, gonna, they're closing in on 100 wins. Does he help? Yes. Does he make the team better? Yes. If he got hurt and Severino's healthy, all right. All right. I understand it is a big loss, but it was... I want to put it into this perspective of it's not the do-all, end-all for this club because they haven't had him all year, and they still got a very deep bullpen you know, remember, too, you, you might have um, Domingo Herman out the pen a bit more in the postseason. Um, Severino and Paxton won two. The way Paxton has looked, uh, none of, everybody expected this all year long, and the Yankees are getting that at the best time possible, right before the postseason. So this is huge. Uh, will he ever pitch for the Yankees again? I think he will. Let me tell you why. What's the value right now? If you have to say... Let me accept a two- or three-year deal with not huge guaranteed money, maybe incentive-driven. Don't you look to take that from the team that you're used to? But you may have a team that looks to throw some big money up front with the hope that Patances comes back and is healthy enough. Uh, but yeah, he, I mean, taking a minor league deal on, a, on an injury base is not a, a, a big problem because most teams are going to look to give you a minor league deal anyway. They're not going to give you a major league deal if you're going to be out a whole season or most of that season. So I do think it is very possible the Yankees could bring Batances back. So we'll see. 
Uh, so DJ Steel says, so my question that I asked in, in your DMs that of course I didn't respond to, sorry. Whoever wins the World Series, do they have the advantage of signing Garrett Cole in the offseason? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think most players now are going to go where the money is. Um, I think the money is very possible. I think the Yankees have it. I don't know if they do it. I definitely don't think the Yankees do it if they win the World Series. I think they're going to look to continue to develop their pitching. If you guys have not seen Clark Smith in the minor leagues since the promotion to Double A, he's just gotten better. So the Yankees have some guys that are really on that brink of breaking in with the Major League Club. Of course, Jordan Montgomery's back, so they have even more options than they had before. So it's interesting. I agree. Anthony, I'm right there with you, my friend. That's the point I'm trying to make. Look, Batantis healthy is great. I mean, I love to see a Batantis on the mound. He's, he's you know, fabulous. When Dylan Batantis is on the mound, you love to watch him. You love to see him. But his injury to me doesn't hurt as much as it did, let's say, if Britain was already hurt or Britain was out or, or there was a couple of guys that were already out. You needed that lockdown guy in the pen. The Yankees have those guys. Uh, you know, Adovino just got to get a little bit back on track. Canely's been good all year. The list goes on. We know the names. The list goes on. But the big thing for the Yankees right now is Severino. I mean, Yankee fans, I know it's kind of bittersweet. You see Severino look solid for four innings. And then you hear about Batances getting injured. So it kind of sucks. But, you know, having Severino back is much more major than anybody else. Knowing that you can go into a postseason series with a healthy Severino, a red-hot James Paxton, and whoever the hell you want to follow that, that is huge. That's, that's the, the mainstay for the New York Yankees right now. How you guys like the beard, by the way? Yeah. Come on, come on, questions. <laughs> uh, read an article on Garcia for Noah. Maybe look at the offseason. Your thoughts. I'd do it tomorrow. I do need a haircut. I'll do it tomorrow. Daniel, let me tell you, my friend. i do that deal tomorrow. If the Mets came up to the Yankees, and I know we're talking, you know, well ahead. We're talking about the, the, uh, the offseason. It's a question I'm just answering so nobody bug out. Um... If you're looking, you know, well forward, if that deal's ever on the table, do it. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, Syndergaard is not happy with the Mets. We know that. Get a guy like him going, that would be, that'll be tremendous. Keep in mind, people due to the 5 million buyout of Edwin Encarnacion's option is only for 15 million. That is correct. Yeah, that's the... <clears throat> Adam, I agree with you on that one. Uh, me personally, I tell you what. I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on Gregorius. I love him. I love Didi. I think every Yankee fan loves Didi. But when I look at it as a baseball move, if I could put that money elsewhere, I think I'm looking to lock down something else than throw $14, $15 million a year at Gregorius if that's what it costs. There's no way. I mean, I wouldn't do it. I've said this last year, if you guys remember. Uh, for a lot of the people who follow me on here, I've been saying that for a while. I'm not opening the bank for him. I'm just not. Um, it's nothing bad with Didi. I like him. But I'm not going to open the bank for Gregorius when the Yankees got a locked and loaded infield. Especially with the fact that I'm sorry, but I'm extending DJ LeMay for an additional two years as quickly as I can. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. Come on, Steels. Come on, Steels. Coop! Coop! What's going on, my friend? The Mets could go after DD. That would make a lot of sense for the Mets. I like that idea for the Mets. <coughs> so, God. <coughs> Lord have mercy. <coughs> Woo! Okay. So, guys, quick question for you now. I'm going to throw it your way. Postseason started tomorrow. Who are your three Yankee starters that you're entering that first se that first series with? Who are your three guys?
Who's your top three? <clears throat> All right, Coop, I see you got Seve going third. <clears throat> okay, seems like both of you guys agree with that. Paxton, Herman, and Tanaka. So you got Herman in there. Tanaka, Paxton, and Herman. Paxton, Severino, Tanaka. I would think, yeah, I would think most of everybody would have some sort of <clears throat> one through three that would consist of Paxton, Severino, and Tanaka. Now, folks, I've seen some people say, well, Severino's just building his arm up, then they'll leave him in the pen. No, the Yankees' hope is that he can make a couple of more starts <clears throat> and be ready to go and be very strong for the postseason. This could be huge for the Yankees. Let's not forget how good of a starter, and what I mean by starter, not a starting pitcher, how good of a starter to his season Severino typically is. He usually gets off to a very good start. <clears throat> so if you can get Severino, get him healthy, get him on a hot streak, and you know, and go out there and possibly dominate the remainder of this year and into the postseason. That's the guy you want leading that staff, followed by pa Paxton or Tana Tanaka. Tanaka. Paxton or Tanaka. Now, Tanaka, <clears throat> the thing about Tanaka. You guys don't know who Tanaka is. Get to knowing Masahiras Tanakis. All right? Masahiras Tanakis, only problem, has been given up the dingers. Okay? My scouting report. Masahiras Tanakis. Only thing you got to worry about with Masahiras Tanakis is the homers. But other than that, in the big game, you want Masahiras Tanakis on the mound, okay? When I mess up, I roll with it. I'm not like these other guys, all right? These other guys, oh, cut, hold on. Let me, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Masahiras Tanakis. I actually like that name better. He does show up when it counts, Coop. I agree with you with that, no doubt about it. Tanaka does show up when it really counts. He goes out there, and, and, and typically he steps up when he knows it's, it's a big game. I want J.A.J. Happ, or J. Happ. Yeah, J. Happ needs to just continue to get it going. He had a rough start his last time out. Just got to bounce back. He was on that trajectory to get right back into it. Pete, you can't be happy for it. Dallin is out for you. No, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy at all about it. Um, my point, my point simply is... Um, my point simply is about Dellen Batanz is he, he hasn't been here all year. And the Yankees have still been arguably the best team of baseball. So now you, you know, have Severino back, which is much more important than having uh, Dellen back. But it sucks. You know, it sucks any way you look at it. <laughs> Masahiras Tanakis. Uh, he's related to Kevin Euclid, I believe. Question for you. Who's your infield? I'm guessing, I'm assuming we're talking about next year. If it's me, it's Giovanni Urshela at third. <clears throat> um, Glaber at short. DJ LeMayu at second. And Luke Voigt or Edwin Encarnacion at first if you want to bring him back. Then you can have that DH there. But you also got a guy like Ford. So, do you look to bring Edwin back? Possibly, yes, no. You kind of have a toss-up. Guys, you know where I stand on Didi. I love Gregorius. I love him. Love him. I love Didi. I love him. But, but, I'm not willing to throw $15 million a year at him. Uh, or $14 million a year at him. I'm just not. I'm sorry. Not when you got a, a potential shortstop that's hitting 40 bombs a year at 20-something. I'm not going to do it. And I'd rather re-sign uh, DJ LeMayu. That's all. Uh, oh, okay, if we're talking about playoffs, Gio, DD, Baby G, and DJ, yeah, I, th I think I'm working around that because you do want your best defense. But I, I don't see Girardi. Girardi, my God. I don't see Boone doing that. I think Boone will still have Voight or Encarnacion back having him at first. So we'll see. 
And Adam, you know he's not going to accept that deal. So I don't think there's something wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But you know he's not accepting that. He's going to look for five years plus uh, from everything that I've heard and that we've heard throughout you know, the last year or so. He's going to look for a much larger deal, and I just hope the Yankees don't give him that. I don't think it makes sense for them. And, that, and that's not a knock on Gregorius. So if Gregorius came back for five years, 60 million, five years, 70, whatever it might be, I don't know. I'm not upset with that. I, I just don't want to lock a guy up, you know, five, six years, 100 million. I don't see that being a smart choice, and he wants quite a bit. Don't be shocked. Adam, don't be shocked. I agree. I don't think he should either. I don't think he should either. But I wouldn't be shocked if a team throws at him when that's what he's asking for. I, I, I don't, I, hey, Coop, it's been a while since I did a live chat, all right? I'm a little rusty. Your boy's a little rusty. I expect you guys just to be like, all right, whatever. You know, Simonetti hasn't been done doing this in a minute. He's a little rusty. Let him get back into his game. Stop it, all right? Of course we're going with all these injuries, Adrian. Of course, Adrian. Yeah. Of course we go win with this. Of course we can win with this. We can win with this club. Look, if Severino's strong and Paxton's strong and Paxton continues, that is a great one too. They can win with this team. They can win. You know, anything can happen. If the Yankees, if the Yankees had a uh, Hap, Sabathia, Tanaka starting only, they can still win. You never know. It's baseball. Nobody could. This is one sport you're not predicting. You can't. Nice, Coop. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. Good for you. Where have I been? I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been a busy man. Been here, been there, been everywhere. I've been a busy guy. I've been a busy guy. I've been a busy guy. Okay? Your boy's trying to do a lot of things, folks. I'm like an octopus. My hands are all over the place. All right? I've been training extremely hard. I've been working on music, been having meetings left and right, trying to get as much baseball stuff I can get into. You know, it, it's just tough sometimes. I need help on this channel. Nobody wants to help me. I've been asking people forever, hey, look, if you want to be a part of the channel, hit your boy up and you can continue to make videos. Just send them to me and I'll upload them. Your boy been busy. If anybody's really interested in doing that, let me know. I just need it to be somewhat professional. I'm a professional guy. I mean, look at this. Professional. Gotta be professional if you're on the sources channel. All right? So guys, don't go crying. Don't be upset. Don't be upset about Batances. It sucks. It's upsetting. Focus on Luis Severino, what he did today. He was terrific. If Didi, question from uh, Adam. If Didi isn't re-signed, who's the bench middle infielder, Tyro Estrada? Yeah, Wade. You got Wade, you got Estrada. Wade has looked better this year when he's had his chances at the major league level. He's looked good. What's up, Maggie? All right, buddy? All right, take it easy. Didi is a 260-ish career here. Last year was his best year overall. However you want to see it with Gregorius. However you want to see it. Uh, Omega is an Alaskan Malamute. He's an Alaskan Malamute. I got two, two Alaskan Malamutes, my Mega and my Zoe. Wade can be an X-Factor. can. What's going to happen with Andujar? It's interesting. I've heard quite a bit about Mickey Andujar. Um, I was planning on making a video about this uh, with the potential that some believe that Miguel Andujar has the chance to switch over to a corner outfield spot or potentially, as we already known, first base. It'll be interesting, that idea of a potential outfield spot for Miguel Andujar. I don't know how um, that can happen, but let's put this into perspective. When Miguel Andujar was healthy, he got benched the last game of a playoff, okay? There was all rumors all offseason about trading him. Hell, 
There was even rumors at this year's deadline of trading them. I think you have a very possible outcome that if the right player presents itself, Miguel Andahar could be traded. Now, there's always chances that you keep these guys and they find a spot for them, as we've seen this year. Guys we never believe will get a spot has gotten a spot. So it's very possible. I don't have any update on Gary Sanchez. Uh, none whatsoever on that. Um, well, I'll talk a lot more about that as the months go by, especially in the offseason. This offseason, again, I feel like I say this every year now, but this offseason, again, is going to be very interesting. Um... Uh, they got so many choices they can make again. DJ Steele says, if the Yanks win the World Series, what do you think Trump would feed the team at the White House? Ballpark Franks. <laughs> Ballpark Franks. From Sonic. <laughs> uh, White Castle. White Castle. Alright? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, uh, some people... Take all that crap so seriously. He gave a, a college team burgers. Who gives a crap? Um, I don't know. I don't know how many Yankee players would go. I think most of the Yankees would go. I think Sabathia has kind of been um, a little more uh, hesitant to going to. Sabathia wouldn't go, I don't believe. But um, I think most Yankees would probably be. <laughs> Starling Castro would be invited to sing. Where's Ryan at, man? Ryan disappeared, man. Ryan disappeared. Chicken sandwiches from Popeyes. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, too, everybody, congratulations to Mariano Rivera getting that Medal of Freedom. I know some people on Twitter were open arms about it and upset. Really idiotic. Uh, mental evaluations needed all over. Um, uh, the highest award for a civilian goes to Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer of all time. He walked into the White House, with, into the room playing Enter Sandman. That is classic. That is one of the most classic things I've ever seen, and a classy gesture, if you ask me. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> I don't know. To answer your question, DJ Steels, I don't know, man. Twitter is absolutely toxic. If you guys have noticed, my Twitter posts have dwindled down quite a bit. I'm always on Twitter, but it's dwindled down a bit. It's, it's very weird. Yeah, I miss the podcast too, man. You know, Ryan is, um, uh, Ryan also works on music. He actually does a lot of shows and stuff, so he does a lot of that. And then also, Ryan has some really strong political beliefs, and he doesn't like to mix that on Twitter and all these other things. So, um, he made a certain decision, so nothing wrong with it. Everybody has a chance to do that. He did deserve it. Mariano did deserve it. Yeah, social media is a tough one. Ryan and Pete are coming off the IL just in time for the playoffs. We'll see where Ryan is. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be more than happy to, 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 to do that. No doubt about it. Pete, my 8-year-old son is watching with me. He's got a big baseball tournament this weekend. Can you shout him out? Braden with TBSA Patriots. Braden, my friend, if you are listening, first of all, I got to say, you might be the youngest person listening to me, and I'm happy that you are my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, best of luck. Go out there. Knock it out. You are the man. Braden, go and do it, my friend. Good job. Hit a homer, Braden. That's right. You got either, even other people telling you, not just me, go out there and do your thing. Make everybody proud. And hopefully we'll hear about how you done. Thank you. Bets to the Padres for a load of prospects. That could make a bit of sense. That could make a bit of sense. Yeah, Twitter's a little crazy, guys. It's a little crazy. I've had my back and forths and all that mess on Twitter, but I'm kind of done with that. All right, guys, so for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to have you guys ask me whatever you want to ask me about, whether it's baseball or not baseball, and then I will get ready to jump off here for the night. I do promise you guys, I am sorry, folks. I'm gonna, if somebody wants to help me with videos, I am cool with that. He's got a smile from ear to ear. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. That is awesome to hear. I love things like that, man. Thank you. That makes me even more excited to talk about it. 
um, to talk about baseball. But guys, I'm trying to get as much um, information to you guys as I can. If anybody else wants to help with videos, let me know. Carl, to be honest, why the beard? I haven't got a haircut or anything. It's just been growing out. I'll be honest. And I've been sparring a lot more. So the beard adds a little more cushion. And to be honest, when I spar, I like when it just drips off the beard and you're like a wild animal. It's fun sometimes. Um, Justin Gagey. Uh, when it calls, when it talks about Justin Gagey, wow. Uh, man, what do you say about Gagey? Like him? Like him as a fighter? I like his style. Now, when it comes to a guy like a matchup with a guy like Conor McGregor, if you guys are UFC fans, you see my UFC videos, I'm probably going to start doing some more of that. Um, DJ Steels, please, man, come on. <laughs> um, Conor McGregor is too good of a counterpuncher. So to me, a guy like Justin Gage who goes at you, and he opens up really big because he throws really big punches. Uh, a guy like McGregor would counter very easily on a guy like Gagey. Now, if he lands on anybody, he could put you out. But uh, I think that, that match is odd. I think Connor will be fighting Dustin Poirier in December. Um, definitely. I think that match is going to be announced uh, uh, fairly soon. I truly believe that rematch is coming. How's your music coming? And where's the real Simonetti source, your wife? Hope all is good with your busy schedule. The real Simonetti source is upstairs. Um, yes, all is well with us. She is as crazy and psychotic as ever, and as Dominican as ever, I must say. Um, uh, yeah, man, everything is good. The music's going really well. Um, replay has done great. You know, I, I've been able to book more shows. I, I've been having talks about having music go along with uh, certain short films and different things like that, so I'm trying many different things. Um, I've got this thought out of my head that I want to be this this big music star. I don't care. I don't care about that. I think as you grow up, for me now what music is is, gonna, is my job, and I want to keep building off of that and growing into my own thing. I don't think I ever want to be signed by a big label. Um, I've turned down labels before, and I don't want to necessarily... Be, 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 uh, I don't want, I don't know how to say it, but I, I don't want my creative ability to go to somebody else. I kind of just want to do my own thing. Um, when it comes to a new album, that is already being worked on. I got some new songs that nobody has heard about yet. Um, that will be coming soon. You might have heard some of them in some of my videos towards the end. King Do, uh, Living Like a King Do. Um, um, uh, there's a couple of other ones out there that I don't want to talk much about yet until it's actually out. Got a big thing scheduled for the song Mafioso Drip that I'm going to be recording in the Dominican Republic on a boat in the ocean and all this big setup early next year. Uh, Mafioso Drip is going to be redone into a much bigger track. Uh, sort of like replay, but even bigger. And um, yeah, got some features set up and things like that. So the next album is going to be, gonna be way bigger than, than the past one. So... In your opinion, who do you think is the better catcher overall? Oh, God. Wilson Contreras or Gary Sanchez? Um, I would go with Gary Sanchez. Now, I was concerned because I thought you might say JT or Real Muto. Yankee fans are going to get mad at me when I say this. Go look at that damn man's stats. I'm not saying he's better. I'm not saying he's better. But it is a toss-up on who's the best catcher of baseball. When you're talking overall catchers, now Gary Sanchez is the best power-hitting catcher, hands down. But if you really look at the best overall catcher, God almighty, JT Real ah, is far worse. His war is much higher. 28 homers, 80-something RBIs. Fielding percentage is like 990, 991. Uh, throwing runners out, hitting for average 287 or 280, whatever it is. So I'm not knocking anybody, but still. Pete, how do you feel about my son using a 10 second clip of one of your songs for his walk up? Please, 
Please, by all means, man, go right ahead. That would be amazing. That's awesome. Um, is they is uh David in here? David is another guy who actually used my song Racking Up. He wrestles. I didn't know he wrestles. He's a wrestler. He goes around and wrestles. And he came out to rack it up. I was like, this is crazy. Thank you so much. Any travel plans for me? No, not really. Um, I got some things lined up in places like D.C. and here in Richmond and a couple of other things. So, um, yeah, man. Um, not really anything right now lined up for New York specifically. Anything else lined up for New York specifically. What's the hardest part about making new music? I'll be honest, man. I don't really have... I got one or two people that I like their style of their beats they make in the production. Um, but that would be the hardest part is finding beats that work for you. Now, if you're talented enough, you could get on any type of beat and make it work. But when you got a specific style you're trying to go for for an entire album, it makes it difficult to find what's right. So that's the diff most difficult thing for me. Most of my music is freestyled. So that's another thing that a lot of people don't understand. That's why my flow stays the same. Um, most, of my, most of my music is freestyled. Um, for an example, uh, Replay. The only thing on Replay that I had written down was the chorus. The, the verses are all freestyled on the spot. We recorded that whole song in probably two hours. The entire thing. Um, so... You know, it, it's been amazing. Big Al says, I want to make music, but my depression prevents it. Huh. I could sing, dance, or have my, my depression prevents it. Hey, Al, man, if you could message me. Um, message me, man. Message me. I, 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 think, I, I think I have ways that, um, that I could maybe help you around that a little bit, man. Um, I've talked to some people about, about these type of things, man. I've actually been researching a lot about um, depression and people holding themselves back from doing things they really like. Um, I've never suffered from depression, knock on wood. Honestly, I'm happy about that um, because I know it's, it's very, very tough. Um, I've never suffered from it. I know people who have. Um, but yeah, man, if you could get at me, I, I would like to have a private conversation with you about that, man. That would, be, that would definitely be interesting. DJ Steels, let me see if I can find what you said last. Uh, see, I don't do this for people I love. I don't go back up looking for looking for things. Wish I would have betted in the beginning of the season on Gardner having a higher OPS than Machado and Harper. Uh, guys, I gotta let me get. Actually, matter of fact, hold on a second. You're right about that, by the way. Um. Uh, yeah. If you can at me on Twitter. I don't know if you're on Twitter, Big Al. If you're on Twitter, we can talk on Twitter. If you could DM me. If not, let me know what your what your username, whatever it, whatever it's called, your your uh, whatever the hell it's called, and I can um, message you directly. If not, Simonetti Source at gmail.com. Uh, speaking of that, honestly, uh, different streams. Different streams of weed might help you depression. Different strains, yeah. Actually, yeah, like things like CBD and stuff like that actually helps moods. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big CBD smoker. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it recovers your body. It actually helps your mental a little bit. Uh, it takes some inflammation down in your body if you work out a lot or if you're training. Um, and a lot of people say it helps your mood. Um, I, I've noticed that I feel great after taking it. There's no psychological effect. So it is not marijuana. It's not weed. You don't get a high from it. Um, but it's something I truly enjoy. I love it. It makes you helps you get you know more deep sleep. So it, it depends. It, it depends on um you know where where you're going from. Thank you, man. I appreciate that for having the album, man. That is awesome. Thank you. But well, talk. If you could message me, uh, the Simonetti Source at gmail.com. You can even email me, and I could talk to you from there. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do. But I'll be. Definitely happy to talk to you about that, especially if music's your thing, by all means. Um, I think I have some ways around that. But guys, I want to ask you guys a question. Before I get off here, I want to ask you guys a question that I thought about today. And I was going to post it on Twitter, but I said, you know what, let me wait a second. The baseball's juiced. 
The baseball is juiced. Okay? The baseball is juiced. Big time. I don't think anybody could sit here and deny that. That players like guys like Gardner and other players like this are benefiting from a juiced baseball. I don't think anybody would deny this. I don't think anybody would say, nah, I don't believe it. You look at AAA. AAA gave, they gave the AAA players the new baseball around midway in the year. Home runs went up dramatically. Through the roof, home runs went up. Here's my question to you guys. Will this also be considered the juice era? Steroids? Juiced baseball? Illegal cheating? Legal cheating? I think that's a good question to ask. I think it's a good question to ask. Legal cheating, which it would be. Baseball knows we can make money off this. Yeah. Or illegal cheating. Where do you see the difference here? Guys aren't sticking a needle in their ass. Getting jacked to hit some bombs. They're just using a juiced ass ball to smack the shit everywhere. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get ready to jump off here. Um, by the way, I'm actually going to start. Um, this is one of the things I've been talking about. Probably going to start doing a promotion with this company. I'll tell you any second. Let me answer Anthony's question. Pete, how does McGregor versus Poirier go, you think, the same way it went last time? The same way it went last time. McGregor will, will dominate. Dustin Poirier, I think it might go a little longer, but I think they'll win. Guys, I am probably going to be representing soon, doing another uh, promotion with this company, Cloud9. Um, if you go to um, buylegalmeds.com, they're a great supplier of CBD. Uh, they come pre-rolled. This is pure CBD. Um, it is great, again, for your mental aspect, for healing your body. Um, I've been using this now for a couple of weeks, especially after my sparring sessions. I've been sparring really hard. I've been training extremely hard over the last couple of weeks. And it, it's great for your body. It knocks you out cold. I mean, it doesn't knock you out. It puts you in a more deep sleep. You wake up, your body feels better. Um, it's all legal. You, won't, you wouldn't fail a drug test. You don't fail anything off CBD. It's just natural plant. There is no THC or anything like that in it. Um, it is pure CBD. Great stuff. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uh, Al, you can look into it, my friend. Um, if you want to again talk to me about it, I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Um, well, DJ Steele's uh, a little bit of both, baby. You're right. Um... But uh, yes, correct. No THC in CBD, especially if you're more concerned about anything else. So we'll see. Um, Daniel says, man, Pete, I got to tell you, really awesome. You take time to talk to people outside of chats and want to help them. Extreme respect to you. May God bless you always. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, uh, hey, Al, I I'm not a doctor. Uh, I don't know that. I, I can't tell you. Um, you can. Yeah, Lane, that's correct. You can. That's right. Um, I can't tell you if it would. I don't know. Um, I, I just tell you what it does for me. I mean, there's times when I'm angry and I'm upset or whatever, uh, for whatever reason. And this stuff gets me back on track again or back on focus. So, um, we'll see. Frankie Lats. Let me tell you guys something. I have met some really great people through the Simonetti Source channel. One thing I have promised you guys for a while is meeting up and everybody getting together. I haven't been able to do it. But a lot of you guys, I want to meet you guys so badly nobody knows. Frankie Lats, I got to get to the gym with you. 
I know you're going you're going to outshine me because you jacked from top to bottoms. Guys, he won't even fit on my camera. All right? Frankie Lats is jacked. Jacked. So I'm going to feel upset in there with you in the gym. But I got to go with you one day, man. I got to go with you one day. I got to go with you one day, Frank. We should all hang out. No doubt about it. I, I truly want to do that. God, it's just everything is so crazy right now, but but no doubt about it, man. If I get a show in New York, all you guys got to come. Um, I've been looking at a couple of different situations that might work out. But um, other than that, guys, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my night. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of yours. Uh, Big Al, my friend, I am here to talk. I will be happy to talk to you. Please um, message me. Hell, I don't think anybody on this chat will be upset with you talking to them either. Um, I don't want to talk for anybody, but by all means, um, uh, message me on Twitter if you can. Email me, whatever it is, and we can definitely chat. Talk to you guys again very soon. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you guys. Appreciate it, and I promise you I will try to do much more of these videos. Maybe get additional help out there if anybody wants to help let me know and we will go from there it's been a great 41 minutes with you guys talk to you again very soon the email is the simonetti source at gmail.com talk to you guys soon